think it's working now. Can you now. see it? <laughs> I've just been talking to a screen now for the last three minutes that I don't think anyone saw. So that's fine. Hi, happy Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is Daryl. Hey, in case like, you don't know Daryl. I got my official Leon Rhymes 20th anniversary <laughs> Coyote Ugly sh shirt. I, I first one to wear it. I and I you. have my official Willie Nelson shirt. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome you guys. It's, <laughs> it's the 20th anniversary of Coyote Ugly, which is insane. So we thought we'd do a little something special. We had big plans for this on the road at one point. Um, but <laughs> oh my gosh, that's uh, right. things got changed a bit. So um, thank you for joining us today. If this is your first stage at show, welcome. This is what we do. We're not sure what the hell we're doing, but it's really fun. And I hope by now that you guys tune in for the humanity of the show as much as you do the beauty and the perfection of it all, because we're definitely showing our humanity. Today. You're, you're professional and, huma and humanity. I'm just human. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> Unprofessional, right. <laughs> Unprofessional human. Right. Um, so, yeah, today Daryl and I actually just learned some of these songs last night. Um, I do have lyrics here if you can, in case you see me looking over. Um, I didn't want to rack my brain for hours trying to remember all these things. So, you know, I'll be 38 in a few days and starting to go. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to play these songs for you today. We're going to do a bunch of stuff off of Coyote Ugly. I'm going to shut up in a second and sing. Um, and we're going to, uh, to play some of my favorite movie songs, which... There's reasons for all of these songs. And by the way, I'm just warning you right now. I have, do you see this? This is toilet paper. I don't, I ran out of tissue and God knows you probably can't find it anyway. So, um, yeah, I cry a lot to these songs. So, and I, you couldn't, I couldn't choose happy songs. No, no, Leanne, don't do that. Anyway, let's do it. We're going to break into some Coyote Ugly right now. All right. Oh 
It was fun. That was that was so fun. I'm saying it's a bit strange because we don't have like anybody plotting back. Right. I don't see people. I don't feel people. I feel you. There's energetically I feel you, but like I would like to see I you. I feel you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um yeah, you guys have loved this movie for so long. So many people have. It's kind of a sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's kind of um kind of crazy how much this movie caught on and it's been passed down such from generation to generation now well two generations two generations yeah not not yet <laughs> it not, hopefully not, will be you're not grandma rhymes yet no, it feels like it sometimes oh my god it's so weird um but yeah you guys totally love this movie and the music has lived on obviously these songs have i think permeated the hearts and lives of so many people and that makes me very happy um, to be a part of such a project like this. So uh, this is probably the first time I've revisited like a couple of these songs. And I think all of them in one show, right? Well, all of them. I don't think I've ever done them all in one show. Even back, so. even back then? I don't think so. Wow. I don't know, I don't know why. That's true. I mean, maybe I did. Maybe one of you came to a show and you're like, yeah, you did. <laughs> I, probably, I don't remember doing them all in one show. Um, What's the tempo of this one? What are we doing, right and wrong? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's the sex tempo, remember? Oh, yeah, sexy. sexy. Yes. <laughs> know all about, about your reputation, and now it's bound to be a heartbreak situation. But I can't help it if I'm helpless every time that I'm with you are. You won't get none of my strange bones out the door. Say my name and I can't fight it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I was, I was thinking, I was like, where do we go? Oh, yeah. I, and, oh, oh, I, no, I forgot too, because we were going we to do the other little thing at the end. Oh, shit. I and we forgot to do that. I, I can't, I'm so good. How do we get into that part? Oh, it's fun. Oh, I it's loved fun. it. Yes. Hi, fun. guys. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you are literally in our uh, living room today, so I'm shocked that I got out of sweats to hang out with you guys. But I got into jeans, which luckily they fit. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but there's a few pair of my jeans that don't fit right now. Yeah. I hope everyone. I hope everyone <laughs> has that problem. If you have, if you don't have that problem, you haven't been enjoying your time off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's terrible. Actually, at some point, it feels really good. It, it, this is like where we write so many songs. So kind of sitting here, it feels oh, like a little room? bit. I felt like, oh, we were kind of like, writing like, for a our, second. In our jeans that don't fit. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, so this song. Easily accept. This is the first time I have revisited this in a long time. I know so many people love this song. Um, this was for the Legally Bond 2 soundtrack. Oh. Oh. I love it. I think it's appropriate for now. For this sure. time in life. We can. This is a very important message. Yeah. Uh, what else are we doing? Oh, I think I remember this song. 
Um, is does anybody want some Christmas in uh, August? Oh, oh, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> I just really go. What? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So well, it's like Christmas in July, but it's it's August exactly. We just kind of you know scoot it past in July. Um. Yeah. So if you don't know the song or are unfamiliar at all. We wrote this song, Daryl and I did, for a movie called It's Christmas Eve, which was on the Hallmark Channel. Two, is it two years ago now? Two Christmases ago. Two Christmases coming ago. Up. Coming up, yeah. Um, but you might have caught it in July because I did play it. Uh, it was fun creating music for this film. This song always gets me. I had to do the whole crying scene to this, and I don't know. It was so easy because the song always makes me cry, so if I get through it without my toilet paper, it'll be good. <laughs> Here we go. see the movie that's no just, uh, we made it such a point in the movie for the door to be opened on the word eve because that was my name and so that's all i hear now eve, eve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh um hold on what are we doing oh we're doing uh that which one? Oh, cool so um i love the song so much uh Alanis Morissette just came out with a new record. And um, I remember when City of Angels came out. Oh uh, there gosh. was so much great music in that film, but this song was written for the film, um, and it was so well done. So, so well done. So um, we just learned this last night. Hopefully don't screw it up. Hold on. <clears throat>
I don't know why that just made me laugh, but that was really good. I learned, but yeah. hey, I wanted Michael came and got rest of soul's orchestra play. It was right? so cool. <laughs> yes, um, that was so fun. I love that. You got to do that live. We have to do that live. That's so good. We just, yeah, we just oh, did we, it live. Yeah. You mean on on a stage? That, well, that was our peanut gallery back here. Yeah. Oh, oh, what audience? Uh... <laughs> Eddie, you just did it live. Um, hold on. We are going to. Hannah approves, by the way. Which one? Hannah approves, by the way. Uh, Hannah approved. I love it. Um, yeah, that song is so good. Um, so we're gonna go into. By the way, um, are people? Are we gonna do some questions? I, do, I would love to do some questions. Ask but Hannah. Ask Hannah. Hey, Sorry. Hannah, can you um, just shoot me, text me a couple questions from peeps? I would love to. I'd love to talk to you people. That'd be fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It's peanut gallery is talking again. Um, we are giving away some stuff tonight. We're giving away some CDs. We're giving away, hold on. Oh yeah, sure. Nope. That, that's one of them. Oh, get the other one over there too. Giving away some Parody Ugly merch. Um, that was one. What, here. Over on the arm over the chair over there. That one. It's 104 degrees outside, but we're gonna show you some hoodies that we're giving you. I mean, it'll be fall soon enough. Oh, not I love that these. <laughs> um, and then we have some t-shirts. How fun is this? Oh, that's so cute. I like it. I love it. Um, and then also, someone is going to get a candle. So I don't know if all of you know this, but I. I have a blog, in case you don't know, um, called Soul of Everly, and I um, I do a lot of stuff on that blog. <laughs> I talk about a lot of things very personal to me, spirituality, I love to talk about food, um, I love to talk about workouts, anything wellness, basically. Not just wholeness. health, but wholeness and wellness. Yeah, wholeness, completely. Um, so I create candles. I love candles. I'm obsessed with candles. Um, there's like 5 million going in my house at any time. Um, and I wanted to learn how to make candles a couple years ago and I started doing that. And then I was like, I have this idea after learning all about frequency and spirituality and just, just a bunch of different things. Science, I mean, it all kind of bleeds into one another. Um, I had an idea to create candles where I actually, uh, infused these candles with specific frequencies and specific frequencies can make us feel, um, feel certain things they can create our world and i guess color our world in beautiful ways um so colors have frequency basically everything we everything this piano has a frequency i have a frequency this candle has a frequency um but i was very intentional with the intention and the uh and the frequency that goes into this candle so it's almost like what i was explained by a scientist if you can imagine like my voice getting um my voice getting put into a, onto a record when I play and chant my play chant over these as they're drying and um, and I also chant over them myself and so it's almost like um, a groove being cut into a record it gets cut or basically infused into this candle so um, this is our latest candle my latest candle that I have out called sing love into the world and you also get a a download of a chant so you can light this and chant and all that good stuff with it. Someone's, one one person's gonna one person's it. gonna get this beautiful candle. It smells really good. Um, yeah, I love doing that. I, it's one of my favorite mm. hobbies that now turn into a little mm. business and I love it. Um, so yeah, so you, somebody's gonna get that. So we have a bunch of fun stuff to give away. And um, I know, hold on, Hannah's sending me questions. How did, hold on. How did Moonlight Coyote Ugly change your career? Oh, wow. Well, I think it, I mean, on so many different levels. Um, I was 17 at the time. Uh, How Do I Live had just been a, my first crossover hit, which was unheard of at that time. Uh, and I went way outside of the box with that being a hit on, on pop radio and top 40 radio. So, um, I called Diane Warren and wanted, there's, there's a song called Please Remember that she had written and it was attached to another film. And I 
I, I think I, for some reason I knew that that song didn't, didn't go into that film and I was making a record and called and I wanted that song. And I uh, asked her, I said, can I have that song? And she said, it was attached now to this movie called Coyote Ugly and they're looking for someone to do the soundtrack. Would you be interested in doing all of the four songs that I've written for the soundtrack? And of course I'm like, well, if I can get that song, sure. I don't know what the other three songs sound like, but sure, like, I'll listen to the other three. Um, and so that's kind of how I ended up in the film and doing the music for the film was because of that phone call. Um, and I, I think that it, it just expounded upon the crossover success that I was having at the time. And in fact, uh, Can't Bite the Moonlight, when they released it here uh, in the States, I don't think anyone really kind of paid too much attention to it until it was number one on 11 countries around the world. And then <laughs> two years later, they re-released it and it became a big hit here. So um, it's just interesting timing. But um, I think for me, it just expounded upon what was already where I already had crossed over into the top 40 world. Um, and you know, it's, I mean, if you really think about it, like my biggest hits have been in, on top 40 radio. I mean, other than, uh, I think Blue and, and One Way Ticket, but my, like the biggest, biggest uh, songs that people know around the world are the ones that have, have crossed over. And so I think that, that led me into, was I Need You after that? Yes. It was, I'm like, I don't know, you know, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, so yeah, it led me down a, a string of, of success on top 40 that I don't know would have been available to me if I wouldn't have taken that. I think, you know, How Do I Live might have been a fluke in, instead of being able to expound upon it. So yeah. Um, and it was the first time I got to wear sexy clothes and anything. Cause you showed your belly. I did. I showed my belly. Um, Cause I was 17. Um, if you think about that though, like I was 17 and St on a bar dancing, right? But think about 17 year olds now, like showing my belly and on a bar dancing is like nothing. <laughs> that's, that's like that's nothing. not even a TikTok. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's a Tic Tac. Um, uh, what am I doing for my birthday? Um, Eddie and I are going to the woods. We're going to the woods and I love hey, that. Really? Yep. That's We're going to cool. go to nature. I'm very happy about that. And I love being in nature, and I... Can we I, all meet you there? No. Okay. I love you, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you meet me after. Um, oh, if I could trade places with one of the coyotes, who would it be? You know what? I like Lil. Maria Bello. Maria Bello is a badass, by the way. She's just a badass. And I would totally trade places with Lil. Lil, own the bar. Absolutely. You need to own the damn bar. So that would be me. Um, and I love her because in, she had just, she had so much experience, you know? And I think that's kind of where I'm at in my life now. I just have so much underneath my belt that like nothing phases you. That, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be the new girl. <laughs> I'm cool not being the new girl. Um, where can I get the Daryl Brown shirt that he was wearing earlier? Well, that's one of the, oh. <laughs> Someone wants a Daryl Brown t-shirt. Is your name Daryl Brown or do you just love Daryl Brown that much? I don't, oh, I, hey, I, <laughs> Hannah, Hannah can get you one of those. <laughs> but there, the, we do have those that say Leanne Rhymes, but you might want Daryl Brown because Daryl Brown is way cooler than I am, I have to say. Um, and one more. What's the biggest life lesson you've learned so far? Oh, that we don't have time for that. I'm like, there's too many of them. Um, oh, my God. Wow. What's your What's the biggest life lesson I've learned so far? Be true to yourself. Well. No, really, really 100% true to yourself. I think I'm still learning that one. What is truth to yourself? We can go down, sure. a, well, no, we can right, go down right, a road right. with this because right. honestly, there's so many, well, there's so many layers to like life place. lessons, I feel. Let's just put it that way. So where I've learned to be true to myself, there's a deeper layer to that and even a deeper layer to that. So yes, truth to my own I believe it. I know this. Truth to my own. That you must love you. Passion. Yeah. You must and love And I you. must love me. You yes. must love you. <laughs> <laughs> to love myself in every incarnation. Right. Ex to really truly accept yeah. where I'm at in my journey. Yeah, that's just the, that's just the start of it. We are going to play the song called You Must Love Me, which is an Andrew Lloyd Webber song um, that he wrote for Evita. And this song is... 
I don't know, something about the song hits me really deep. So, um, yeah, here we go. Where do we go from here? This isn't where we intended to be. We had it all, you believed in me. I believed in you. Certainties disappear. What do we do for a dream to survive? How do we keep all the passions alive like we used to do? Deep in my heart, I'm concealing. And you'll slip away. You must love me. You must love me. Why are you at my side? How can I be any use to you now? Give me the chance and I'll let you see how nothing has changed. Deep in my heart I'm concealing things that I'm longing to say. Scared to confess what I'm feeling. Frightened, you'll slip away. You must love me. You must love me. You must love me. Are you finding it? No, this is another it go away? That's beautiful. I love that Thank song. It's so great. Um, the song is. Um, huh? Oh, Secret Girl. Yeah. I'm just remembering. Sorry, my brain. I was I'm like, oh, did you forget? I forgot. I was just like, all of a sudden going to another song and you want to go to that song. Oh. I love you. No. Okay. What's this song from? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where did you go? I just where left for go? a second. I like, um, this song is, I would say, if if not, this might be my favorite song. Um, I've always said it was crashed into me by um, by Dave Matthews, but I think this might be my favorite song along with that song. Uh, this song, I ball. So. This was from the, uh, oh my God, Jerry Maguire film. And I know he didn't specifically write the song for the film, but it was basically the movie song. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that right now. And if you don't cry to this, it's gonna be real sad because I'm gonna cry. You gotta cry with me. Here you go. Count me off, count me off. Uh, you in her mouth 
watching Jerry Maguire it's so messed up yeah oh okay I'm done now <laughs> that was intense it's so good that song that's such the most beautiful lyric <clears throat> so good um okay hold on oh wow is one of the questions I just got, is there a movie based, a music based movie you wish that you were in, musical or other? Okay, so there's two films that I loved as a kid, um, Grease. Oh, okay. I mean, how do you not want to be in that movie? And then Dirty Dancing. And Dirty Dancing wasn't like, it was based around music as movement, what? not as vocal, vocally. Um, but the music was so, Incredible. And Jennifer Grey and Patrick are great. Oh, they were so good. I mean, who was not in love with Patrick Swayze? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was that was the first movie as my mom's probably watching. That my mom took me to see that movie with um with my grandfather and her. Were they so it was a three I was uncomfortable. I was six. <laughs> I was six and not till like later on. By the way, I've I think I've kept from my last count, I've watched that movie 67 times. Oh my God, you're going to be No, I'm not. I loved that movie. And so I remember, like, I remember watching it later on, you know, when I'm older. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's what, that's what. And you know, like, you have just an instinctual, even at six years old, you just know, you, energetically, you, like, know what's going on. Even though you don't know cognitively what's going on. Yeah, and so so uncomfortable in that movie theater with my parents. Do you know the lake? You know the dad. lake where they practice the lift. Yeah, that's been dry, completely dry for the last seven years, eight years or something. Oh, really? I think so look it up on the internet. This year, it started filling back up again. 
Oh, just out of the blue. Does that mean we need to donate? I think, I, think, need, I, I think they're doing it, actually. I just read somewhere the other day that they're doing probably it. Probably because it, 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 it's, re, it's coming back alive. It's resurrected. We need to do the music for that. That'd okay. Be amazing. That's a good idea. Okay, yes. I'm down for that. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is probably one of the best movie songs of all time. And I did cover this with uh, Kenny G. I covered this with Kenny G. We did do this. I did. Look into my eyes, you will see what you mean to me. Search your heart, search your soul, and when you find me there, you'll search no more. Don't We used to listen to, uh, we used to listen to the Brian, basically his greatest hits in the bus all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a one thing we could kind of get everyone, including like all the dudes, like to agree oh, on. Oh, everybody just doing yeah. one big karaoke yeah. in the bus? Especially what? like, please remember, you know not what to do. It's so good. It's all so good. Um, hold on. Uh, so wonderful to see the real person behind the talent. Oh, I'm so glad you're having fun. I, yeah. 
This is basically my live show these days. So I mean, might be a little bit more polished than this, but yeah, but, not, not as many mistakes. Oh, I'm shut not on the down. moment there, so it's fine. <laughs> the mistakes are what make it beautiful. Okay, that's okay. another life lesson that I've learned. Oh. It is not. There, first off, there's no such thing as perfection. And number two, even though I still try to get there sometimes, but number two, um, and there's all the imperfections are what make you you. And I know that sounds very. It's probably it's probably one of the most annoying things to hear especially when you're like honed into your imperfections, but it's true. It's true. You don't, we don't see ourselves the way others see us. Right. And if they see us the way we see ourselves, then there's something wrong with them. <laughs> it's one of those adages that people have heard so much of, but it's probably one of the longest oh, yeah. ones that are true. But it is very true. Yeah. It's very true. And I, I think all of those sayings, you don't really understand them until you finally understand them, right. understand them, understand them, understand them, understand them, understand them. Um, Oh, it's so rare nowadays to see an artist experience the true emotion behind songs they sing. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm, yeah. Even during I mean, rehearsal, we couldn't even get the rehearsal through some. She was like crying. That was, like, that I, was, that was good. How am I going to get through this? That was, that was good. Um, hold on. What else are we doing? We're doing a. You want to do, you know what? Yeah. Um, all right. Now, if you have a bar in your house. I don't oh, know hold on. You're missing something. What am I doing? Oh, shit. She'll be right back. Two seconds. Well, I said I want to be Lil, but I also would want to be Bridget Moynihan's character, too, because I definitely have my cowboy hat on. I'm not I'm not in my half top today, but I'm close enough. <laughs> I'm close enough. So I thought I'd put the hat on for this. I wish I had a fire on the bar. All I can hear is the other song. I, all, all I can, I can hear is, right, awesome sugar on oh, me. No, dude, you're unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that one go to? All I remember is unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. That's all I remember. You're about me, your question. The da 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 the lies. I don't know the whole song. All oh. I know is you're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ready? I just, I'll just start grooving. Okay. Come to you. I never love us yet. I'm gonna be with you. And no one's gonna be around.
was fun. That was fun. That's <laughs> probably the first and last time you'll ever see me do that with a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Um. Last song. Almost. It. Huh? Almost. Yeah. Almost. Um. I wanted to make sure I got everything. Um. Oh yeah, we're doing um. We're doing Sunday service. Oh yeah, it's Sunday service. Sunday service is, oh yeah, it is next Sunday. Is it next Sunday? No, it's this week, the two Sundays from now. What's today? Saturday. 15th? 15th? 15th. Yeah, so the 23rd, okay. I was like, whoa, what? Yes, on the 23rd, we are doing Sunday service. Um, another stage show, our fourth and final show. So, um, our final for now. Uh, so please, if you are on here and aren't come, haven't come to the other ones and want to come back, please join us. Um, we don't know what we're doing, but it'll be fun. It'll be Sunday. It'll be Sunday. It'll be a Sunday and it'll be service. a service. Yep. Amen. <laughs> and uh, yes, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, this has been really fun. We have enjoyed it. But I had my hair really bad. <laughs> And you left with yesterday, left with the memories. I, I'll always think of you and smile and be happy for the times I had you with me.
free and I had you and you had me That song's sad too. Oh Lord. I swear I'm gonna record some happy songs one of these days. I know, I have plenty of those. Thank you. Have hey, five. It's a low five, but here's a high five. Have <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. We'll see you um, in a couple weekends on the 23rd. Just, just thank you, thank you. Hi. Hold on, how to exit, exit. They can't do it with the hands. Oh, on shit. Like that. Can't do it with the hand. Bye. Hold on.